one click is all it takes to lose everything. We are in a cyber war. You can either be a defendant or you could be a victim. Smart cars. Right, this is the future. Everyone's talking about them. Tesla actually has models today that can actually do assisted driving or self driving. They're starting to test that out in the US and other areas to see how effective that is. And I tell you, it really hit me last night. I don't watch a lot of TV, but sometimes if I had a busy day, I'm just a little wound up and I need a little break before reading. I'll just sort of flip through the channels and, and I like certain movies, right? right? Typically the movies I like involve cars that go very, very fast. So right, Gone in 60 Seconds, one of my favorite, favorite films. The Fast and the Furious, I think there's like 37 of those now. I like those too. But the one I was watching last night was The Fate of the Furious. And there's a scene in there where they want to steal the nuclear suitcase from a limousine and they start hacking all the smart cars and they start having the cars trap it. And one of my favorite parts is when the evil criminal, she goes, make it rain. And they start hacking all the cars in the parking garage and they start having them fall off the building and basically trap in the limousine. And it's funny because we watch those movies and we go, wow, that's Hollywood. It's entertaining and exciting. And I step back and going, What's the reality? How real is that? And it's funny, when the movie came out, I think a couple years ago, it was still probably a little more uh, sci-fi, uh, fictional-based activity, but you're really looking at where things are going, and in two or three years, that could be a reality, where somebody could potentially be able to start breaking in to these smart cars, taking control, managing them, doing other things with them. So I sit there and say, are Smart car is really that smart. So after I watched that, I'm, my mind's always going, so I started researching and started looking into this. And here's what's interesting. If we have self-driving cars, cars that basically can drive, communicate, and manage without our intervention, small, minor accidents will go away and could potentially be a thing of the past. Because they're going to go in and they're going to signal to each other. So if the car in front of you stops, your car will know to stop. If you get a certain distance, it will also stop. So a lot of these minor fender benders where people are in traffic and they're working on their cell phones and they roll into the car in front of them or they don't stop all the way and they hit somebody, those types of accidents could almost completely go away with smart cars. Here's the problem. Major, major accidents. What if you're going 65 miles an hour on a highway and a car next to you cuts you off, side swipes, and now all of a sudden your car crash, now all the other cars behind you will not necessarily be able to stop in time and they will all crash. So to me, self-driving cars will eliminate small minor accidents, but major big accidents that require human intelligence and analytics to avoid those will potentially increase. So to me, the question is this. By going in and doing self-driving cars and allowing them on the highway without a person driving them, is that a good exchange where we can get rid of all my, minor fender benders, but the major fatal car accidents will increase by three or four times? That's what you ultimately have to think about, and that's what I worry about. Great. I'm not going to get into a fender bender. I'm not going to get into minor accidents. But guess what? Those I typically walk away from anyway. But it's those major fatality, fatality accidents that I want to avoid. And if my chance of dying in an automobile increases even by 10% by having a self-driving car, I'm not sure I'm in. I'm not sure I want to play. So I just sort of, after watching that movie, I just sort of wanted to shoot a quick video that we all love our technology, we all love the functionality, and we embrace it. But do we really step back and say, what are the real risks? What are the real exposures? And to me, this is something that's being minimized. You have all these vendors that want to make a ton of money, and that's cool. I'm, I'm all about entrepreneurship. And they're pushing self-driving cars, self-driving cars. But to me, they're not fully educating us on the real dangers and the real impact. So if you're a proponent of self-driving cars, do the research. And yes, 
Yes, I know some of my friends that are going to watch this and some colleagues that just love technology. They're going to sit there and go, Eric, you're full of... Blah, 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 blah. Yes, if, if you've decided that self-driving cars are the best thing in the world, there's nothing I can say that will convince you otherwise, and this video is not for you. But if you're somebody that's concerned about safety, concerned about your children's safety, and you want to just honest assessment, that's who this video was shot for. I just want to give you the plus and the minus and just get you thinking about, are we really solving one problem and creating a bigger problem by moving to self-driving cars?